slave ship, and it's a true story about slaves. You can see their hands right here, their arms, their legs. They've been thrown overboard because of the most barbaric reasons, because of a need to conserve supplies on the ship. This is the real story of the ship called the Zong. This actually happened in the 1700s. Turner was painting this during the abolition era. So Turner was painting this 1840. So the fight to end slavery worldwide was still ongoing, right? There's some really interesting aspects of this painting. Who remembers that word with an R? Turner was what type of painter? Realism. Not realism. Romanticism. romanticism, right? This is romanticism. What does do what setting sunsets often represent? Death, right? This is the death of hundreds of people who were thrown overboard. We, this is uh, a ship that's sailing into an oncoming storm. Again, talk about foreshadowing, 1840, the fight to end slavery worldwide is really just beginning, right? Britain's undergoing its own efforts to end slavery a little bit earlier, and then uh, America in about 20 years' time has its enormous civil war. It's almost like Turner knows that the ship sailing into this enormous storm represents this upcoming conflict to end slavery worldwide. Devastating, really intense story. And you see how this is about... A, this is about 50 years before the Impressionists, but doesn't it look like a Monet in some ways? Or like a Renoir, or maybe like a Matisse in the way that the, 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 sea, the, the sky... It doesn't look super realistic in, in some ways, but it looks like it, it could be Impressionistic, so... Maybe the most important painting you'll see here today. This is probably this is one of the reasons why I was so excited to take you guys here. This is a global masterpiece right here. 